finished packing the little prints they're all in here and the only thing that's left is my posters i almost forgot about it uh, i have my posters in these containers over here but i have some leftovers in this box here so i think i'll, I'll do that tomorrow first thing tomorrow i'll check what's in this box and restock anything i need but it's it's 5 a.m so i'm gonna go to bed now <laughs> today is the last day i have to pack so i'm gonna do that right now Sometimes I get a question, where do I get my prints done? All my prints, uh, most of them at least, the size that I like to get is 11 by 17, which is 11 inches by 17 inches. And uh, there's two places where I've gotten my prints done. I haven't tried any other places, I know there's others, um, but the main place that I've used in the past is called Fireball Printing. I'll put a link right here. <laughs> you can go check it out. They have a lot of products. Uh, they have sales sometimes for uh, these types of posters. You can get, I think, 50 posters for $15. It's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Uh, yeah, so that's what I use for my regular size prints. Uh, I have printed larger posters. They're like four times the size. I don't have any right now that I can pull out and show, but um, I get them from... I don't remember the name right now, but I'll put a link right here. This is where I get my large posters. They also do vinyls, which um, I have one right here. This is a commissioned piece I got from Ro Rosuri, I think. Uh, that's how you say her name. I don't know, but... I got this commissioned and I printed it out on this huge vinyl. Yeah, and the website that I showed before, <laughs> they do vinyls. So I got that printed there. I used to make these type of shiny prints. I have a lot left over, but I don't bring them to cons anymore because they're so heavy. But let me pull one out. These are done through cat print. I'll put a link right here as well. They do posters like these as well, but they don't do thin posters. The type of paper that I get is a bit thin so that I can carry a bunch of them. I think uh, they do thicker posters by default. So if you like thicker paper, you can go with cut print. And they also do sparkly prints like this. And it's so cute and shiny. But they're so heavy to bring around, so I don't bring them to shows where I fly to. Um, I try to keep them for local shows where I can just come back home and get more or take a bus or something. I think that's all that I can share about where I get my prints done. Oh, and of course, I also do them at home. I have the Canon 100 and I use this type of paper to print my posters at home. Uh, I think it's called Red River paper. They do 11 by 17. Uh, these are all photo papers, by the way. So any prints that I do at home, they're all in photo paper. They're not in um, poster flyer paper that I usually sell. But um, yeah, so this is 11 by 17 and these are 12 by 18. Wait, no, 13 by 19, I think. This is pretty big. And the posters that I do at home, you've seen footage of that, but like I, I printed this one at home. When I print stuff at home, it's really heavy to bring to conventions, so I try not to do it if I can help it. I, I like to have my fireball prints because they're thin and they're just much lighter to bring when you're bringing suitcases.
That's all I have to share about where I get my posters done, I suppose. Um, it's pretty common knowledge, but I just thought I'd share. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up now so that I can relax a little bit before my flight. I have to leave uh, in about maybe 15 hours. I need to pack some orders and drop them off before I leave as well. I don't want to keep those through the weekend. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll catch up later. Bye. go drop these babies off it's almost I think 7 30 now let's see how cold it is Oof. it's pretty chilly hey look at all that snow <laughs> I think what I'm gonna end it on is I doodled two more things. I drew this thing the other day and I used some washi tapes. Then I drew this one too. I used some of my Copics and then I also used some washi tape. I have a lot of washi tape. <laughs> um, check this out. There's like a whole shoe box of washi tapes in here. Yeah, there's a lot in there. It's full. Um, so <laughs> what I'm thinking I want to do is I make doodles like these, but use the washi tape in the background or like to frame it or to add some texture. I don't know. Uh, maybe I, I will keep doing that. I, I'm not sure. I do want to someday like um, swatch all my washi tape. I kind of started doing that with some papers I have here. Oh, let me see. I hate this. I did this a long time ago, so and I stopped, so I would like to continue, but like I have some pages with some washi tape that I swatched. This is where I stopped. But look, it's so cute. <laughs> I have so much washi tape, I wonder how pretty it would look if I have all of them laid out like this. Oh, I drew this one. <laughs> I made washi tape at one point, but I only did two, uh, three designs. Let me see, do I have them here? I did the, these poros, this poro washi tape. I also did this Invader Sim washi tape and this Squid's washi tape, Splatoon. But they're all sold out now, so I don't have any of them. But I would like to make more in the future, but not of uh, fan art. I want to do original design ones, but in the future, I, I don't have any manufacturers that do it, so... I can't just like randomly make them so I would have to research uh, manufacturers for washi tapes before I even attempt to do anything so I don't have time for that right now so I'll do that when I have more time um, but uh, yeah I've just got to take this time to finish packing oh geez I don't have much time oh and I need to edit this video too because I I want to post this before I leave, so if you're watching this, I, I'm probably in a plane right now. <laughs> uh, the convention I'll be at uh, 
tomorrow uh, I'll be at this weekend is called anime I'm gonna butcher this because I don't know how to say it anime Milwaukee <laughs> Milwaukee 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 I don't know whatever however you pronounce this yeah so I'll be there this weekend I hope it goes okay everybody else is gonna be at Katsukon I wish I was at Katsukon but they never let me in I haven't been to Katsukon in so many years but anyway, I'll be there this weekend. I don't know if any of you are going. Uh, if you are, uh, I'll see you there. <laughs> and if not, then I'll see you guys next week. Wish me luck. And I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.